Hello, it's Taco Fan One here, and today we are going to play another demo. Another Wii Wear demo, to be specific. And today is Cave Story for the Wii. Okay, so just to let you know, I've played through this a couple of times, so I'm just gonna go real quick through it because I know what to do already, so. Oh, and by the way, I'm so sorry for those who have been waiting for Kid and Chris Uprising Let's Play. Um, I've been kind of busy, so I haven't had the adequate, adequate time, so forgive me for that. Alright, uh, so it's a game made by Nick Hollis, and it's Cave Story, also. Oh, let's see. Alright, original, I think that's okay. Alright, so give me the key. So, they start talking about a key where this guy is wanting a key, apparently. She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. The next time that doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be the injured. But just hit her with a key. And then I come in. Well, or this guy. Whatever this guy is. Okay. So we start over here. We have the reservoir. Oh. So, I mean, it's a WiiWare game, though. Hold up. Silver locket, yeah, you have to get the silver locket before you even get going anything. Oh, there's a fish. Ah, nice fish. So, as you can see these, I know, some people might think, oh, this game sucks, the graphics are crap. Graphics wise. Well, graphics aren't everything. I mean, this game is awesome, and I know the craps aren't up, aren't, the, the graphics aren't, are, aren't up to date, but it's still a really good one. Anyways, hand over that key. No! Maybe knock some over. How can that guy survive a fall that big? Yeah. Alright, time to go back to the village. And then we have to go here. So you got your... You got a polar star, which is the very first gun. Okay, so mark of the northern star, and you got the silver lockets. So... Shack. You jerk! Oh, what have I never done? He's... Alright, where? Oh, help me, help me, huh? So this guy, whoever this guy is, Taroko apparently, thinks that this guy is a doctor. Or me, whoever I'm playing. Apparently thinks I'm the doctor. So, this guy, the doctor, he, he killed my older brother. That's what it says there. And, that pendant. Sue, apparently, Sue gave it to him. Let's see, but I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape with Sue and I get along. One of who this king is, and Sue. Please kick it. Have no idea who king is. Oh yeah. Hmm. I have you. It's no use trying to hide me. You got the nose of a clever. I've got the nose of a clever hairy. Indeed. Whoa. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery. I found her first. You two. You're with the doctor. You must be Sue, the great doctor. I summon you. Come along with me. This guy isn't Sue. I can see how they've mistaken him. Oh, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person, I told you. So, now we go up to our first boss, I'm guessing. Yeah, it should be our first one. So, you decide. Alright, so he asks you if you want to fight with your pea shooter. Otherwise, you're gone. He's gonna ask you yes or no, I mean. You can actually get out of the fight, which is kind of weird, but. Obviously, you should go with yes. Understood! Great shooter! Time to go shooting. No! Oh, God. But, oh, come on, really? Alright, got him. I'll remember this. I like the music. This music. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoops, uh. Yeah, uh, oh, forget. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Um, the problem is that this Wii Remote, so the new Wii Remotes, the, yeah, like, the rechargeable Wii Remotes have gotten new battery packs, and it's got this unnecessary resync button that we could always press for no reason. Oh, there we go. We're back on. Defeated Balrog, or whatever this guy was. And you get these little yellow orb thingies, triangles. And these serve as your XP for your gun. Which you can upgrade a variety of guns for. 
Let's see, let's get back up here. And then there should be a I heart room. Please appear. Where is a uh, life fulfill? Yay. Yeah, it's, that's what it is. And then, let's see, let's go to here. Let's see. What did you say? Toroko's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform King. I'm guessing the King. <laughs> yeah, the King. Yeah, I'm guessing the King is that first guy that you saw who was arguing with that guy who just got kidnapped. That's what my guess is. So it's a cemetery. I wonder what these little white things are. More XP, boy. Oh, and if you get hit, you'll lose XP. Isn't that slow? Whoa. Yeah. Again? Stupid. Experiencing technical difficulties. I mean, why? Why do they have to have this stupid resync button? Ugh. Well, it doesn't take too long for this to get back. This music is creepy, though. Alright, we should be back on. There we go. I mean, my brother presses this button all the time. Arthur's grave. So this is the grave of the kidnapped boy or girl. It's his brother. Something is right on him, so. Here rests the true Mimga hero, Arthur. And I found Arthur's key, which leads to the house. Where she'll see will be play an important role in the game sooner or later. Let's see. So we keep going. Forget the house. Oh, and there's a life container here somewhere too. And we have to go to this garden too, which is where the left will be. That's some pretty peaceful music here. It's a sprinkler. Obtain a life capsule. Yay. So it decreases your life, obviously. So now I have nine health. We Alright. There we go over here. Okay. Now I have to go to the house, the one at the very bottom. Alright, Arthur's house, and we use the key. Now, we go to this place. Pretty weird house. So everything here is a 2D platformer, no, 2D shooter, actually. And, alright, so now we have to go to the 8 corridor. Funny how this is actually a PC game, and how it started as a PC game. And then ported to the DSiWare and WiiWare. And then to the 30s again. Awesome. So now we're at the egg corridor. Wow. I wonder why it's so dark here. Okay, no, I don't think that white thing looks good. Alright. So this is the first actual stage where you have to get the computer shooting. Level up! So, yeah. That XP starts to be very important on your game. There should be backgrounds. I don't know why there's no background at all. Uh, I guess it's because they put the brightness extremely low. I mean, there is background. Trust me. Ah, and what sucks about this game and what makes it challenging is that if you get hurt, your gun will level down. It will lose XP at the more you get hit, so... Oh, and we meet this creepy looking guy and this cute looking girl oh. there you are you monster don't scare me grar what you want some of this take your best shot even my big brother has never beaten me ouch he got me sorry i'm sorry pow she's looks like she's not good. oh you who are you whoa ack grar that guy looks creepy it looks like a mutated version one of those so, we should go around here, too. Let's see. Real quick. Um, 
Let's see. So now we head back, and there's another heart container. And I failed. So, let's get back to that heart container. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, I didn't see that. That was cool. So, I guess there's invisible capsules that you can't see. Yes, got it again. Uh, stupid reset button. I mean, that's useless. Who, who even resyncs their button? Um, no offense to those who do. Uh, well, it looks like we'll have to wait another while. <laughs> and we should be back on again. Life capsule. Um, back life three by four. All right, let's hurry up. Oh, okay. So far, so good. This game is really cool. And this isn't the like I said. I don't think this isn't the only weapon. And the music is really cool too. Although you, I mean, for those who have played Cave Story before, I haven't. So. You can change it to its original original music. Let's see. And then you're supposed to go into the egg, egg number six. And you should find ID card. Which will be necessary. Alright. Now we can head back to the egg corridor. Oh, and you do not want to hit those white things on there. White drip dragon things. Let's see. That was my brother who just raged. Well, oh, and those give you major XP. And there's another thing. Oh, this is where. Oh, here is also another thing where you find another weapon. And this one is, uh, let's see, what is it? Missile Launcher, which is another weapon. It's a very cool one, but it does, let's see, it looks like, the Missile Launcher is a powerful weapon, but it has limited ammo. Collect additional ammunition from fallen enemies. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see. Let's My mom! So, so, what I would do, is get your missile launcher and then collect the fallen XP from it. Although you are gonna need it. And some of these enemies could be ridiculous. Uh, I can't even get back up there. We need to really upgrade this missile launcher because there's this boss that is kind of hard. Alright, we just leveled it up. Almost leveled it up to level 3. No! Ah. Stupid white thing scares me. Some kind of creature, obviously. Get back into this egg, and as you saw, if you hope you saw it, insert ID card, shield removed. Yeah, there's a shield there that really blocked their way. Yes, now we got our missile launcher level three. Get away, stupid enemy, and whoa, roar! Professor's very important test takes, and won't let anyone near them. Look at that! And it does major damage. So does this. Empty. 
Well, at least we got this level 3 polar star. And we just beat the boss! Yeah! Celebration time, and it did seem to be a mutated Mimga Igor. That's a weird name. So we need to go here. Alright, and we meet Sue, who's apparently knocked out. Ugh. Ouch. Whoa there, I haven't lost yet. Gotta take it serious now. Huh? I got knocked out by that monster. Did you save me? Yes, I did. This is none of your business. So, this is apparently Sue, who's the one who hates everything and every everybody on this on the world they are in. And she wants to escape, apparently. Uh, alright. So, it looks like I need a password to have to say. My big brother worked here, he fixed everything. There's nothing to do here, because I'm not. I like this music. Are you from this island? You don't see like you are. So, you can off this island together if you want. You're gonna have to help me. So, to be continued. Cliffhanger in the full video game zone. So, this is some info on this game, the full game. 15 big levels, and they are pretty big, with over 98 areas to explore, more than 20 bosses, and tons of weapons. Rad weapons. 40 audio tracks, over an hour of music. And there's even un un unlockable game modes like Bus Rust, Time Attack, and Curly Story. So, this game is really good. Uh, this game is 1200 Wii points, $12 to be back. And if you have the money, I'd say go ahead and get it. And for Cape Story fans, so do you. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's a really good game. So, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully, you enjoy it. And I'll see you next time in another video.